Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Keith Edwards. A new report from the CDC says a growing number of people in the U.S. have missed their scheduled second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, vaccine demand is dropping. Katrina Lim speaks with local health department officials to find out if area counties are experiencing similar issues. According to a report from the CDC, about 8% of patients in the U.S., or roughly 5 million people, have missed their second dose of the COVID vaccine, up from about 3.4% in March. And Chippewa County is facing a similar problem as well, with 673 county residents missing their second appointment so far. Maybe they had an event coming up and they just didn't want to feel ill um, for that event, so then they have canceled. Um, their appointments, um, but most have been able to reschedule. And then we just have the individuals that have just decided not to get that second dose, um, maybe because they had a systemic reaction to the first dose. Chippewa's health department is also seeing a decrease in vaccine demand. The health department alone was allotted 7,900 doses of the vaccine so far and have administered just below 6,400 in total. So for the first time, the health department has requested zero vaccines from the state this week. We have clinics um, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday this week, and we have noticed that um, of the like Wednesday and Thursday that um, we have about 80 some openings for each day. The goal of the FEMA vaccination clinic at Zorn Arena in Eau Claire was to administer 3,500 doses a week, but lately... The um, first two weeks we gave um, close to 3,000, almost 3,500 doses for those weeks. This past week, um, less than a thousand. And Health Director Lise Gagizi still strongly encourages eligible folks to get one. We are really wanting to make sure that people have easy access to vaccine, that they know that the Zorin site is free and easy, parking is available, hours are there for people both during work and after work, and it's still really important to get a vaccination done um, as quickly as possible. That was News 18's Katrina Lim reporting. Now, one viewer also asked us if they can receive a second dose of a different vaccine if they've already received a Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Health officials highly discourage doing that. They say there haven't been any joint studies between the various vaccine companies, so it's best not to risk it.